Hey guys, this is Nick from Android TV News, and we are currently updating the Nexus Player to Android O. So, this is the first time it's loading, and get the beta program message. And there you go, so you see for a second it loaded into the old launcher. But now we can see that there is now the new launcher that they previewed at I.O. yesterday. So you can see we got the apps, we have all the apps here. Including, interestingly, uh, games are down here at the bottom. Can quickly launch the info. Uh, go back here. Do that. So hold down doesn't do anything. You hold down here. So it launches the app. Is Amazon Video new? Is this? Actually, new app. We did have this before. I don't remember. Interesting. Next question is: if, Am I logged in, or did I have this siloed from a while ago? I am not connected to Wi-Fi, so let me know that. So you have now a notification drawer. This is new. You can activate notifications here, or we can dismiss them, like that. And these seem to be the rather standard notifications that you get with your phone. Um, so you can hear, I am dismissing this notification. It's not doing anything. Probably because... I'm still not connected to Wi-Fi. Get the search here. Um, apps. Go back here. The previewed yesterday way that you could show them, but I'm not seeing anything here to add it to my home screen. Interestingly enough, uh, you can see that now a couple of apps do seem to be populated. We can we do have a way here we can reorder the channels up to watch next as the it's always gonna be first, so nothing you can do about that. I'll get out of this. Okay, today it's done. So we can click on live channels to open the app directly. But it does highlight a couple of interesting channels. Let's click see more. It's going to take us into the app, it seems. Haystack TV. Alright, so we're going to press home. As you can see, the background doesn't play video in the background. I don't know if that's going to change. Because right now, it does seem like the background doesn't have anything. It's kind of bare. Click on settings. Same things as you know before. Uh, I did ask about... Um, I shoot the profiles. I do not see that immediately in the list. I am connected to Wi-Fi now, which is fine. Watchlax doesn't do anything. Uh, I can. It looks like it can remove it. I can also remove any of these. But we do have a couple apps that already support this feature. Um, HBO Now, Hulu, Haystack. Stars, Spotify, doesn't seem to have any. Pluto TV. So, we have Watch Next, we can disable that, enable that. That's really nice. 
live channels, we just have the standard one. This has standard, a standard channel. So, I guess one question I have right now is, are these populated from recommendations? Or have these apps already supported the new compatibility features? This is coming from a support library, so any app right now should be able to incorporate these features. <coughs> In theory, I don't know how exactly it works with um, the new API version 26. But you can see we got all the apps here. Um, let me see if any of these play videos. No, it doesn't seem like these right now play any videos. Any of those previews that we might have seen in the Android TV session. Some of these thumbnails in the future could support trailers or recaps just to get users more enticed into the content. Let's look at other channels that might be happy. We don't have any from YouTube. So that's probably going to come with the update to the YouTube app, which will also include 360 degree video. And probably a future update to the app will let you pin things, use the new UI, and so on.